for my babies. I was looking for ready-made spring twist hair online and I saw six packs of spring twist hair that actually retailed for 70 US dollars. So why would I spend 70 US dollars to buy spring twist hair because I want to achieve distress locks when I can just take out a couple of hours with a pack of braiding hair, call that up and achieve the same hairstyle like it beats my imagination all right so <laughs> for those of you who are like me who don't want to spend like a thousand us dollars just to achieve you know these hairstyles that probably will last you for a month then welcome to my channel So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using one pack of expression braiding here and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the hair into three. To cut the hair into three, you want to basically just fold it like this and, you know, cut it up. So after cutting your hair, you want to go ahead and further out the tips because, you know, we don't want that blonde cut. And one thing I've discovered over the years, you know, from using like braiding hair is that you actually want to use like some kind of spray or petroleum jelly. This is going to make sure that your hair doesn't like shed so much while combing it out. After threading out your hair, this is what your hair should look like on the right and on the left is, you know, just how the hair was before we did all the, the prepping. <laughs> so to achieve the perfect spring twist curl pattern, I'm going to go ahead and place my um, braiding hair on my straw and I'm going to place it about one to two inches from the top. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the, the hair around the straw about three times, bend it down and secure with the bobby pin so the hair doesn't unravel. And that's basically it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep wrapping until I get to the end. As I'm wrapping the hair, I'm actually kind of like twisting and turning. I'm going to show you guys one more example and I'll be right back. If you're in a country where you don't have accessibility to like straws or you have straws but you don't have like sturdy straws, feel free to use like barbecue skewers. So at this point, I was done wrapping my hair and this is what like everything looks like. Guys, I went ahead and put the hair in hot water but that clip got corrupted so I had to refilm that part. To ensure that your hair tones are completely tangle free, you want to put the hair in very hot water, add any conditioner of your choice and let it sit for about a minute. Afterwards, you want to take out the hair, add some hair sheen while the hair is still, you know, still hot. <laughs> And let it air dry overnight. So if you're actually doing this hairstyle for yourself, you can just go ahead at this point and start installing the hair. But listen, if you're someone at home who is a single mom or someone who is broke or someone who is just like struggling, then this is the path for you. With one pack of braiding hair that costs about two to three US dollars, you can actually make five packs of spring twist hair that you can sell for like 40, 50 US dollars. And if you do a couple of these, I can assure you that in no time, like you'll be, you'll be spelling to the bank, okay? So you can actually maximize this opportunity like the lockdown. You can actually put it to your advantage and, you know, like make cool money from the comfort of your home. You could ask your friend to help you out, ask your sister. You can actually know your husband. <laughs> I mean, everybody likes money, right? Including myself. So this is just like an extra way of making like cool income for yourself. And if you do this as a business, just send me the pics so I can help promote your business. Like do a free shout out for you, you know, on my YouTube channel and probably on my Instagram. If I go to a store or i'm online looking for hair and i see this kind of like beautiful hair packaging uh, guys i'm telling you you can take my money i'll buy it i'll buy it and i mean it this is for my babies <laughs> stressed out. 
the first thing I noticed when I saw this hairstyle all over like Instagram was the fact that it had like a bob look meaning that everything was kind of like the same length and when I was installing the hair I, I was just so carried away that the first piece you know turned out very well because I'd been trying to achieve this hairstyle for a really long while and after I was done I saw that you know, the hair was like short <laughs> shorter than like what I had done previously so I had to go ahead and like take it off okay so this clip right here is just me showing you guys my mistake in the next clip I'm going to show you guys how you can actually like do this so you don't make the same mistakes like I did okay so for my parts I used shine and jam and I have a total of 41 boxes so it means I had like 41 locks on my hair show you guys how to install the hair i'm going to take some straight braiding hair and using my cushion needle i'm going to attach it underneath my hair but then i'm going to go ahead and pull like one part of the hair so that it's like slightly longer than the previous lock that i had this is just going to make sure that when i start wrapping our diy spring twist hair i'm going to have space left at the bottom to kind of like bend it over i'm just going to go ahead and braid my hair together with the uh, braiding hair Using my crochet needle, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach our DIY spring to this hair just like this. And then I'm going to kind of like hold the, the short parts of the spring twist hair together with my hair and the straight braiding hair. And then with the other hand, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping the long piece just like I'm doing right now. And as you guys can see, I'm basically using my index finger to throw that long piece around. Now the key to achieving this hairstyle is to wrap the spring twist hair loosely around the, the straight braiding hair because if you wrap the hair you know, tightly, you're not going to get that distressed look. So now I'm just going to go ahead with another piece of idea why I spring this hair and I'm going to attach it as well and continue wrapping until I get to the very end. And once I'm sure that the hair that I'm currently wrapping is the same length with the previous hair, I'm just going to go ahead and make a YouTube and I start wrapping the hair upwards and the hair turned out to be the same length. I know there are thousand and one ways to achieve this hairstyle but this is just what works for me and if you feel that the hair is distressed enough for your liking you can actually go ahead and use like a toothpick to kind of like pick out the hair this is going to give you more of that like butterfly look you know if that's the look you're going for for me this is the look i was actually going for i didn't want it to look like too distressed because i wanted it to be something that i can actually wear Just went ahead and you know laid my edges using my eco styler gel and you know, my she's bomb goo and mixing eco styler gel with she's bomb goo just helps to make sure that there's no residue and guys that's all 
all i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please send me your pictures i'd like to see tag me on your post hashtag love speaks diy distress logs and if you have any like specific video or any specific diy that you would like me to recreate feel free to leave that in the comment section as well and i'm going to try my best to you know recreate it and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial till then bye guys love you smile